welcome back to another video and today we're back for a Premier League match day vlog where we go away to West Ham. Right guys, going away to West Ham is always going to be a difficult game, but I think we're more than capable of beating them today. But the result is all dependent on which Tottenham team wants to turn up because if we came out like we did against Luton, West Ham will be quite happy to press us high and get an early goal like Luton did. But they're the better side where they can capitalise on that and push us higher. It'll be more difficult to pull it back. We know that West Ham can score goals. We saw that when they played Newcastle on the weekend. Although they lost 4-3, they had a lot of fight in that game where they got three pretty early goals. It's definitely going to be a tough game today. I'm just hoping we can get things back on track because the start of the season, we were so, so good. And after this game, there's only eight Premier League games left to go. It's all we have to fight for now. So we need to push for every single point. We've got a difficult run of games coming up as well. So if we can just make the most of the games we have now, collect the three points today, that'll be very important. But West Ham will not want to surrender any points. They're currently sitting seventh in the table. They'll be fighting for Europe. Likewise with us, I believe that top five are going to get Champions League this season. So we're currently sitting in a Champions League position, hopefully but we want to push for that fourth at least to guarantee the Champions League but I'm going to stay confident today it's going to be a tough one Tottenham versus West Ham is always a bit feisty but I'm going to go for a 3-1 score prediction fingers crossed we can collect all three points today if you guys are going to enjoy this video drop a like subscribe and post notifications and let's head up to London Stadium and get all three points come on you Spurs Yes guys, we've arrived, we're inside the London Stadium and the teams are now out ahead of the London derby against West Ham and I'm very, very confident. A few changes since the game where we beat Luton, Bentica comes in for the midfield, Pape Sarr comes out. Although I like Pape Sarr and Basuma in there, I think these players need to fight them for their positions and we need to have the squad rotation and if we have it, then do you know what, we need to switch the players around. So Bentico comes in there and Van der Ven is finally back. Match fit, he's starting today with Romero, so hopefully no more leaky goals, no early goal conceded today, but West Ham are a solid team that we need to look out for today. Also from our side, Brennan Johnson gets a very deserved start. He came on at half time for Kulazewski in the game against Luton and he completely changed the game. So he definitely deserves to start today. So it's a very strong team. West Ham are also starting a very solid squad, a squad that can score goals, but they can also leak goals. And we saw that against Newcastle where they let four goals in when they were having that lead. So there's definitely goals to be scored, but they've got a dangerous midfield and attack where if they get the chances, they will take them. So it's going to be a tough game, two teams pressing high and hopefully we can just overwhelm them. Like I always say, get the better of them, stay consistent, get an early goal and hopefully a convincing win like we saw at Aston Villa. Come on, Spurs. Take our chances and be clinical at 1-0. Definitely time to get a second too. Come on. Oh, hang on. Oh! Unlucky. Coming away. Oh. Back. Move. Back. 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 Gave the ball away in the middle of the pitch. West Ham went. The dogey was just... Man Mark, he wasn't really committed to going and getting, we gave away the corner and you could see it. They were surrounding Macario and as the corner was taken, they just spread out and it gave them so much space. And Zoom is big, he's strong, got his head onto him in his corner, which is an equaliser 20 minutes in, which completely throws his game in his head now. Come on, James Wood Prowse versus Macario. Oh, what a save! That. What matters? Oh. Oh. Right guys, half time at the London Stadium. Tottenham won, West Ham won, which is such a frustrating score going into the break. Because we came out in that first half looking firing, looking confident, high pressure, a lot of energy. We were outrunning them. That was probably for the first 10 or 15 minutes. Then West Ham started to go into the game. They got their equaliser and that completely flipped the game on its head. And 
yeah, completely changed it, knocked us out of our momentum, and we've been really struggling since then, not creating many chances at all. Definitely some changes to be made. Normally we bring on someone like Brennan Johnson now, obviously he's starting. If I was Ange, what I would do is probably bring Werner off, push Shani out wide and put Richarlison in the middle because we need a little bit of physicality going forward because them over the top three balls are just getting clocked onto way too easily and Sonny's getting no joy in that. So if he can go wide, use his pace, put Richarlison in the middle, I think that should hopefully be the trick and be the secret to get these three points. But who knows, guys, we need to comment in this second half and definitely buck our ideas because we've not been good enough. Man. I cannot see us losing to West Ham today, so fingers crossed we come out of this break, get a goal and secure these three points. Please put them in the comments first. Flick on! Oh! You need to take that! Oh! Someone shoot! No! Sunny! Sunny shoots! No! Both Hoiberg and Richarlison, so a bit more physicality in the midfield and going forward, um, time to press them high, outwork them and get this second goal. Come on, please, a doggy! No! All right, full time in the London Stadium and a frustrating end to the game today. No real action or major chances in that second half, which left it. Our goal of the second half, ending the game 1-1. We pick up one point, which sits us still in that fifth position. And looking at the table now, we've got so many tough games coming up. I don't think we're going to drop to six, but picking up that fourth position is going to be such a big ask now, especially after the way we've been playing these past few games. I mean, overall today, the performance was nowhere near good enough. We were not taking our chances. At the end, the ball on a plate for a doge. He just needed to put his foot through it, get it on target, and it's such a soft shot, and it's just sums up the game. But like I said guys, we've got tough games coming up and we've also got them coming fast. We go home on Sunday where we play Nottingham Forest, which should be a beatable game, but they're in the relegation battle where they need to pick up points, so it's definitely going to be another scrappy one, a difficult game, but only what, six, five, six days till that game, so no days off, back to the training ground and fix this. And we'll be back on Sunday. If you did enjoy this video and you don't miss out on future vlogs, drop a like, subscribe, until next one, comment your